Hi there, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about some of the coolest search engine optimization tools out there that are gonna help you more effectively drive traffic and rankings for your website. Okay, so the first tool is kind of a staple point in the search engine optimization world, and that's the Google Keyword Planner. So that tool allows you to do research inside of Google to figure out how much search traffic specific terms have. And you can look at that by different match types. You can look at that uh, by specific regions uh, in specific countries. You can really break out the keyword research in, in a lot of different ways. So that is one of the best tools out there for keyword research, and I definitely recommend you check it out. Okay, so the second tool I have is Google Trends. And if you haven't seen Google Trends, it's a really cool tool that allows you to see keyword research, but it allows you to see that by over time. So if there's a specific term like search engine optimization, for example, you'll be able to see if um, it's become more popular or less popular over time. And it also allows you to drill down into specific regions to see where it's popular and where it's not. It's a really cool tool. I definitely recommend you jump in and, and check it out. It can give you some good data for forecasting. It even has a forecasting element to it that's gonna show you if they believe that it's going to become a bigger search term or a less important search term in the future. And it allows you to um, actually uh, dissect the intent of the keyword, meaning you know if it's just a search term, that's one thing. If it's in the news, another thing. Um, so you can kind of understand what this consumer is looking for when they're searching for this specific, uh, specific term. Okay, so number three is Google Search Console. So this is one of the most important tools out there for webmasters. It used to be called Webmaster Tools, now it's called Google Search Console. It basically allows you to understand how Google is interpreting your website online, and then it allows you to manipulate certain aspects of that. So make sure you set your site up in there, make sure you submit your sitemap, uh, it's going to tell you if you have crawl errors. It's going to tell you if um, you know you have errors in your AMP pages. It's going to tell you how many links are pointing at your website, how much traffic you're getting from Google. It's really a very, very in-depth tool. And I look forward to doing an entire overview for you of Google Search Console in a future video. Okay, so item number four, Zenith the Link Sleuth. This is a really cool lightweight crawler tool that allows you to crawl a website and it just spits back a ton of information. Uh, definitely one of the better crawler tools out there. And if you ever need to do a website transfer or if you just want to get a good overarching um, a digest of a website and, and every single element on it and, and understand its, its ability to be crawled, right? Just based off of internal hyperlinks, Zenith the Link Sleuth is an awesome option. Okay, so number five is Screaming Frog. Screaming Frog is very much like Zenith the Link Sleuth. Um, it, uh, cool names, right? So Screaming Frog is, um, uh, is very similar. Um, the, 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 um, the, the tools are built in different ways, um, but Screaming Frog will crawl a site very, very quickly, spit back very similar information. It'll give you, you know, the titles, the descriptions, the H1s, the H2s, the content, the amount of content on the page, the amount of characters on the page. Um, does it have a rel canonical or not? It's, it's very, very powerful, but those tools are, are actually quite similar to each other, both Zenith and uh, Screaming Frog. Okay, so item number six is Deep Crawl. Deep Crawl is another crawling tool, much like Zenith and much like Screaming Frog, but Deep Crawl is a little bit more premium and it actually gives you information in a much more digestible form. So Deep Crawl is one that if you've got kind of a bigger site and if you don't really want to go through all the weeds manually, it's going to be more effective because it spits out a nice report that aggregates all the information from the crawl a little bit cleaner than Zenith and uh, Screaming Frog. Okay, so item number seven 
is SEM Rush. And let's start just by focusing on the specific crawler element of SEM Rush. So SEM Rush has developed a crawler that's just like Zenith, that's just like um, Deep Crawl, that's just like Screaming Frog. It has a digest report that, that basically gives you an overview of what the crawl found um, that is a lot like Deep Crawl. It's, it's very, very good, and they've been improving it over time. Generally, SEM Rush is one of the best tools out there in the search engine marketing space. So definitely one to check out. Now, SEM Rush also does some cool stuff, much like the Google Keyword Planner, in that it allows you to do keyword research. Um, it's actually, in some cases, a little bit easier than using the Keyword Planner, um, a little bit more beginner friendly. And it also provides competitive analysis, so you can see who the top competitors are in the space. You can do a site comparison. You can see how many keywords you're ranking for, how many keywords your competitors are ranking for, and what the overlap looks like there. It allows you to do just general rank traffic tra tracking. And um, overall, it's a very good tool. They've even built out some social elements to it um, that allow you to see if there were brand mentions online, and that can be pretty powerful. Um, I could go on about this tool. They've, they've made it quite robust. Uh, robust. The crawler element of it is quite good, and then there's a lot of other features that they're working on every day. It even has some AdWords um, reports in there that are very good as well, uh, similar to a, a spy foo, which I'll get into next. Okay, so the next one is SpyFu. So SpyFu has been kind of a staple point in the search engine marketing industry for a long time. And they do have organic traffic elements to SpyFu, but it's a little bit um, more on the paid side, I would say, but their paid data is really, really cool. So you can, uh, like SEM Rush and, and other tools out there, you can see the exact ads, you can see how much they're bidding on the ads, um, and it, it, it just dives even deeper than that. So if you're on the paid side, and, and even the organic side, there's definitely some good qualities to it that are much like SEM Rush. Check out SpyFu, it's powerful, and it's got a couple little niche features in there about if you're in the search engine marketing space about how to get prospects and leads and stuff like that, um, that that's kind of interesting as well. Okay, next is Majestic SEO. So Majestic SEO, they're not Majestic SEO now, now they're just Majestic. It's one of the biggest link indexes in the world. They actually claim to be the biggest link index in the world, index in the world, which I believe is true. If you look at Majestic compared to like a Moz, their link index is way, way bigger. And um, so that means that you can find all the links that are out there, in some cases, even links that haven't been indexed by Google yet, right? So um, that can be very powerful because if they haven't been indexed by Google and you don't see them in Google Search Console as being picked up, there are things you can do to make sure that those backlinks are indexed. But Majestic, incredibly in-depth tool, breaks down links in every single way you can think about. So if you need something that's super robust uh, for link research, and analysis, that's gonna be your tool 100%. Okay, so the next one is Moz. So Moz, if you're in SEO at all or digital marketing, I'm sure you've heard about it. They've got great content marketing. I mean, they, they really crush it on the content marketing side. A great uh, influencer leading the industry has actually recently stepped away, ran Fishkin. Um, but, you know, they've got some cool elements to it. So Moz, you know, has a, a, a lot of link tools to, to show you the, the authority of a page, to show you how many um, links are pointing at a page, to show you, um, you know, if, if there has been an unlinked mention of your brand out there. So it's got that aspect of it, but it also has a crawler tool that gives your paid an, page an individual score. You know, that can be really, really powerful, that, that crawler tool. I can't tell you how many times we'll be evaluating a page and it just doesn't have great keyword density or something like that. Um, and it also has uh, position tracking tools. Um, Moz and SEM Rush are, are big competitors. Um, they basically both offer the same thing. You know, Moz also has a crawler tool. Um, but general, generally both good companies and you'll see that a lot of people um, will have one or, or all of those. They might have an SEM rush, they might have a Moz, they might have a Bright Edge, they might have a Conductor or, or one, one or more. Okay, so the 
Next tool I'd like to talk about is Link Detox. So if you haven't tried Link Detox before, that's probably good because you don't have any bad backlinks pointing at your website. But that's basically the tool that you go to when you're having issues with your links. So what it allows you to do is basically aggregate links from all across the internet, uh, Google Search Console, SEMrush, Majest, you name it, and then uh, basically tell um, the tool, the specific industry that you're in. And then based off of that, um, it's going to allow you to determine if these are good links or bad links based off of a series of criteria. So that's a great tool if you have a backlinking issue. I definitely recommend you check it out. Not the cheapest tool out there, um, but an effective tool. Okay, so the next tool I'd like to talk about is Pitchbox. So Pitchbox, um, like Buzzstream, is a link outreach tool that allows you to basically crawl the web, grab a bunch of email addresses, and then email them a series of emails and kind of keep track of that. So Pitchbox, um, Buzzstream, many other ones out there that do these type of things, those are two of the best. But I definitely recommend you get one of those tools because it can really help you with promotion so that you can hit more people um, at one time. Now, be careful the way that you do that. You don't want to be super annoying and spam the internet. So, um, you know, you should have a strategy behind your outreach. Um, but th but um, those are two great tools for you to, to use. Okay, there are a lot of tools in search engine optimization. I've written guides before that have over 50. I, I did this one guide for Search Engine Land not too long ago that had over 80 uh, tools in, in search and social. It kind of combined them. There's so much crossover there. So I could go on for a long time about you know how many different tools are out there and then kind of the, the subtleties of each one. What I recommend at the end of the day is pick a tool that you feel comfortable with. As, as this landscape is kind of growing um, and as um, you know these these tools are maturing what they're doing is, is they're bringing a lot of these these features into into their own platform so each platform is becoming more holistic so that you need less and less of these tools so that's it for today have a good one and see you next time